of applause for Mr. Hay for turning up to the press conference, people! The champ has arrived! Bit of electricity in the air, isn't there? Ladies and gentlemen, a warm <coughs> welcome on the banks of the Thames at a time when British sport is absolutely flying. Carl Froch's fabulous victory just down the river. Justin Rose's late drama as he became the first English winner of the US Open in 43 years. And of course, Andy Murray making sporting history at the weekend as our Wimbledon champion, the first in 77 years. Andy, big boxing fan, of course, and a big mate of David's here. He's ex as excited as anyone about this. One of the biggest heavyweight clashes we've seen on our shores in many a year. On Saturday, September the 28th, at the superb Manchester Arena, which has hosted so many wonderful big fight nights over the years. Our former two-weight world champion, David Hay, will meet the unbeaten, young, huge, and hugely confident Tyson Fury in a I'm mouth... Sexy. In a mouth... You missed that one. And sexy. In a mouth-watering event live on Sky Sports box office. This has everything. The tactical moves to get it made, the speed, the power, the needle, the unpredictability, and it gives a shot in the arm for the most glamorous division in our sport. David's power, 24 crushing KOs in 26 wins, a string of world title triumphs, and experience from a top amateur to over a decade as a seasoned pro. What's left in the hay tank? Will an inactivity be a factor, or will David show his true quality once again in a few weeks' time? What about Tyson Fury, undefeated in 21, excitement personified with some of his battles? What a talker! But can he deliver on the real stage to become our next heavyweight great? So many questions to answer. Let me introduce the top table here. Peter Fury, Tyson's uncle, Mick Hennessy, Tyson's promoter, and Tyson himself to my left. To my right, Adam Booth, who's guided, who's steered David Hay all the way through, his manager and trainer, and our former heavyweight champion, who knows this place pretty well, David Hay. And let's start with David. How excited are you that it's finally been made? Um, I'm very excited. Um, first of all, thanks for everyone for turning up. Um, I was expecting a nice turnout, and that's what we've got. Um, obviously, the Park Plaza Hotel and Resort, thank you very much, sponsor. I'd like to you know, go out there and give the fans what they want to see. You know, a lot of people don't believe uh, Tyson deserves a shot, but in my opinion, he does deserve it. You know, he's caused enough uh, controversy. You know, he's got a string of victories, 21 which is not easy to do, and um, you know, I believe he's, he's up there, he's got a good world ranking. You know, my, my, my ultimate plan is to regain the heavyweight championship of the world, and to do that, I think this is a step in the right direction. You know, it doesn't directly get me there, but it keeps the fans happy. As I said, I've been out of the ring a little, little bit of inactivity, I've been out of the ring for a little while. Um, so, you know, getting back in the ring against a big, strong, big, strong lad like Tyson will, um, I believe, bring out the best of myself. And um, you know, there's a few people out there who, who feel he might be a little bit too big, a little bit rough for me, which is which is great. You know, I've been there from been a world champion. You know, while while he was an amateur still, and uh, as I said, I'm the I'm the seasoned veteran in this in, in this situation, which is a this is new new territory for me. But I've got a nice young, hungry lion who wants to come and uh, stake his place in boxing history. He's, he's claimed he's the best ever and the best that there ever will be. That's the bold statements, you know, and um, if you look at his last performances, you know, I'd have to question that statement he made, but 
you know, he's got an opportunity to, to shut me up and to prove to the world that he's uh, you know, one of the best on the planet. And um, I'm, I'm happy to give him that opportunity and also give him you know, a nice payday. Because um, you know, I know up, and, up until this point, um, he hasn't sort of worked in this level. So you know, I believe this will be his last, big, last shot at a big time. And what, what better way than to you know, congratulate him for getting here by giving him a nice, a nice juicy payday to, to sail off into the sunset with. Tyson, you got, you got your fight. Which one are we talking into? Or do we talk into them all? First of all, I'd like to address the situation what David has just brought up, where he's giving me the opportunity for this big payday. Now, let's not get things confused, David. I'm chucking you a bone here. You're the dog, and I'm chucking you a bone. Because before the Tyson Fury fight, where was you going to go? Who did you have to fight? Nobody. I'm giving you a chance. So you can claim your little claim of fame to try and beat Tyson Fury. It's not the other way around. I'm the young up-and-comer. I'm the one who's on everyone's tongue. You're just the one who stinks the place out against people and blames it on your little toes, making excuses. Then you fight Chisora, yeah, who, when I beat him, he was a virgin. When you beat him, he was a journeyman. So let me just get one thing clear. It's me giving David A the bone, not the other way around. Um, listen, he, may, he has a lot to say. People like to hear what David A's got to say. But listen, after the, uh, the fight with me, he'll have a lot to say, and a lot of people can laugh at him for all the bullshit he's ever talked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's why he's here. Love it, you gotta love it. You gotta, you gotta respect it. I do, I think, it's, uh, I think it's great. I really do. <coughs> it's, um, it's gonna be fun. You know, just, every day, I walk down the street, People no longer say, when you're fighting Klitschko again, they say, when are you knocking out Tyson Fury? And it's not easy to get the world to want that this desperately. But they have, and here you are. We're gonna do it. I'm gonna show why I'm the haymaker and why uh, you're whoever you are. He may be the haymaker, but I have the playmaker. I've delivered 21 times in a row. I've brung it out the fire every single time I've had to do. David A, well, what has he done? What's he famous for? Beating a giant who couldn't move out of his own way. Listen, everyone David A's fought, including Klitschko, I would smash to bits. Listen, I'm not here just saying I'll prove it. So let's get it on. Can't wait. I'm glad this little bitch has signed the contract because there was a lot of messing around, you know. He is a big tart, David A. I've let him have everything he wants. I've given him all his own way. So I'm glad he's actually here. I've actually... I want him to be the champion in this fight because this is the last time he's ever going to get claim to fame or glory as ever going to be a champion in history again. Never. Listen, he's had his little bit of uh, fun time beating uh, the, the value of guy who can't move out of his own way. Then he fights an old man in John Ruiz, takes him 10 rounds or 9 rounds to get him out of there, over the hill. Then who does he fight? Orderly Harrison. Come on, people. And then he goes in there and gets bullied and played with like a little kid by Vlad. Come on, Vlad, the robotic Vlad. Come on, the haymaker has got the explosive power, the movement, the head speed, everything, but he can't hit a robot. Good work, David. Good work, sir. Oh, I might not be able to hit a robot, but... As a... I'm flattening him. All I see is glass when I fight Vladimir. All over the ring, his jaw's getting smashed. You're a stepping stone, sir. I'm stepping on you. Are you I've got a fly squatter, and you're the little fly that's going to go tsh, flattened. Yeah? And then I'm getting Vladimir, and I'm smashing his chin for him. There's no talking, there's no bullshit. I'm doing it. I'm doing it because I can. And I'm going to prove I can when I fight you and I level you. Because you're nothing but a little girl, my friend. Listen, all you want is uh, all the gla You're all interested in fame and fortune. I fight because I want to fight. I don't fight for fame or fortune. I couldn't give a shit about being a celebrity, being a, on somebody's tongue or anything in the newspapers. You are. You're a celebrity little fighting man. And when you come against a man who's been in camp for 18 months training like a Trojan and you've been faffing around doing movies and playing on the television, you're going to get levelled up for sure. Listen, I want to speak to me. When I'm speaking to you, I want you to look into my eyes. Because I want you to know you how serious I am. You, had your glasses you better on. look at me when I'm talking to you. Because you're getting knocked spark out, mate. There's no messing around. There's no dancing. It's either me or you. On the night, it's having it. I ain't running around from you. I ain't Vlad with no art and no balls. I'm Tyson Fury, and I come to fight. 
And when I fight you on September the 28th, I'm putting you to the floor, my friend. And if you get up, I'll put you down again. Get up again, I'll put you down again. Just like Riddick Bowe done with Herbie Hyde, I'm smashing you to bits. There's no difference in you and Hyde. Big punches, glass chins, spark out. You've got to give that a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. Thank you very much, Stephen! That was, that was great, that was, that was uh, fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tickets on sale now, ladies and gentlemen. Um, how do you, how'd you, how'd you come back from something like that? You know, I've just been, I've just been told, I've just been told how it's going down from A to Z right there. And um, what can I say? You know, I believe I'm a pretty good boxer. I believe I've achieved things in my in my time. Both fighting a, a big robot or a big uh, value who couldn't get out of his own way. I'm not sure how you worked that out, but okay. You know, one thing, I, one thing you can guarantee with me is um, accuracy. You know, if I, see, if I see an opening, I can aim for it. I've got coordination. You know, this guy is so, this guy's got such a lack of coordination, he sometimes misses opponents and punches himself in the face. You know, and that takes some doing. You know, the, the, the rule one of boxing is hit your opponent, not yourself. And, he, and he, uh, he struggles with that one. But, you know, he, since, since then he hasn't hit himself recently. So obviously he's been working, for the 18 months he's been uh, working like a Trojan has uh, paid off, because um, he's actually hit his opponent a couple of times now. Yeah, I did. I managed that one. You did, you know. Try and move your head a little bit next time, because... Uh, you just try and move the, yours, the, the, the that's the all you need to do, feather don't worry fisted, about me. Uh, Steve Cunningham, you know, good, good fight, a good all-round boxer at cruiserweight. Light heavyweight, was a small, was a small cruiserweight. He's Had six foot three, 210 pounds ripped. Similar to you? Yeah. Are we not mistaken? He's not similar to me at all. That's what you've got. He's the same mistake. size as you. You just said he was a light okay. heavyweight. Well, so well, value, is, value is a lot bigger than you. You don't rate him. Right. But you just said mm -hmm. Steve yeah. Cunningham's a light heavyweight, but yes. he's the same dimensions as someone called Mr. David. He's not hey, the same dimensions. Explain dimension. yourself, sir. Come on. Okay, now you've said myself. it. Steve Cunningham used to fight at 200 pounds. Why he, did you avoid Steve to, Cunningham he when he was the IBF champion at Cruiserweight? <coughs> Do you want me to answer the question or are you going to interrupt next time? Yeah. Go on. Right then. He's saying I avoided Steve Cunningham. I won the title of Jean-Marc Mormec. Yeah, an yes. old man who's rubbish. Regardless, I won Go the on. title of Steve Cunningham. Sorry, well, uh, got a flab done with him. Leveled him in three rounds. Yeah, there you go, anyway. Yes, yeah, so I've ducked You everybody. got dropped, made a big war of it in a, a big hard fight. Then what? Keep going. Reel off your achievements. This fight is going to be very fast, and the more he speaks, the quicker it's going to last. The quicker it's going to get... Destroyed. That's what I like I'm, to I'm, I'm, fe I'm feeling good. I'm feeling nice. I'm, I'm happy. I'm You're looking really sexy. But thank you very much. Oh, by the way, I have to bring this up. Please do go. I've heard it's going around the um, the campfire. What's all this that you've had 20 intimacies with men? No, I can't talk guys. What is it? I don't know. Maybe. What does I... that mean? Because I'm a bit illiterate, as we all know. What does it mean? I don't know. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Okay, guys, no Adam, Adam Booth, please, can you uh, make a comment on, what, on how difficult it was to bring the fight together and how excited you are for David to get this one on September the 28th? Doesn't need, doesn't just need two big fighters who can punch or excite in the ring. They need fighters that people care about. And the pair of them have done the job. David over however many years, and Tyson over the last two years has gone off the chart with that. He's improving as a fighter, uh, and he's improving in his status. So it's going to be a great fight, it's going to be exciting, but it's going to be quick. And I really look forward to it. Let's bring in uh, Team Fury. Peter on the end. Right. Looking forward to it? Yeah, we are looking forward to it. Uh, you know, full credit to David, he has achieved a lot and uh, he's got explosive power. His record speaks for itself. Mm. You know, when you hit, you stay hit. So it's, uh, this is going to be a good fight. I give David all the credit in the world because he's a two-time world champion. And uh, fought Vladimir Klitschko, who we know is still there at the top. It took him 12 rounds, so he's, uh, he's 
chin looks pretty good to me. And uh, look, you know, Tyson's got his own views of it, but I'm a trainer and uh, he's a respected opponent. He's not going to be overlooked. We're going to train uh, properly hard for this fight because every fight's his world title fight. And this is his world title fight. It's bigger than a Klitschko fight. Nobody's talking about the Klitschko, they're talking about Hay and Tyson. So uh, this is going to be a great fight for British boxing. And uh, we're going to make sure Tyson brings his A game. I know where it look, you know, as far as I can see it looking at this fight, whoever thinks he's in for an easy night is rather silly. This is not an easy fight. David A is a serious contender, giving all the respect, like I just said. But also Tyson. This is uh, six foot nine. He's coming on every fight he's having. You're seeing his body structure change, his abilities changing. He's getting used to these uh, step ups. And you know, he's bringing different things all the time. Tyson's the man to beat today. So if David A can beat Tyson Fury, you know, congratulations to him because I'm a lover of boxing. I love the sport. And basically, may the best man win. Nothing personally with me, you know. I want both men to get in there, give it their all. And this is very good for British boxing, like I said. And me and Adam's worked hard with Mick to bring this fight about. You know, full respect to everybody. You know, and uh, we're just glad that this fight can be made. And like I said, the best man will win on the night. But hear this, there will not be any excuses from our camp. If David wins, best of luck to him. If Tyson wins, best of luck to him. And on we go. This is boxing. Well said, Peter. Thank you. Um, <laughs> let's bring Mick in. You've, uh, you've been a big believer in the man to your right, haven't you, for a long time? That's right, Adam. It's, uh, it's been a long journey. Um, you know, thanks first and foremost for your attendance today. This is a fantastic attendance. Um, since I uh, signed Tyson in 2008, <coughs> a young, young heavyweight who, uh, by his own admission, wasn't in the best of shape. Um, it's been, you know, a hell of a journey. It's been a roller coaster, to say the least. And uh, we've been written off in, in most quarters of uh, the world media, I would say. Um, the pair of us in, in, in everything we've, we've, we've said and gone after. Um, and we're here, 21 and 0. And they haven't been easy fights. They've been, you know, he's had learning fights. He's had dangerous fights along the way to, uh, to, to get to this stage. Now, you know, at this stage in his career, after the last couple of years with Peter, he's, 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 a, he's, a, he's a polished fighter. He's, 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 he's everything I thought he, he could be and would be. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of the journey we've been on. I'm very, very proud of Tyson. Um, what I would love to say is that, you know, this being a super fight, it gets a hell of a lot of exposure, a lot of programs, I think, you know, behind the ropes and things like that. And what I would love to come out of this, I can talk about this as a super fight, I don't need to sell it, it is what it is. But what I would love to come out of this, I'd love people to get to see the Tyson Fury that I've known for all these years closely. You know, someone who's a generous person, a kind person, a loyal person, honourable, and when he's with you, he's with you. Let me, let me, you know, let everyone be aware that this man, you see the showman, you see the fighter, but you don't see that side of him. He's a great person, and, and I'd love that to come out of this, uh, this super fight with the, with the right exposure. Um, because, you know, all of that aside, I've believed in him from day one, and I believe this is a great fight, but I believe Tyson Fury is going to knock David Hay out. And, I, and I, I'll go, go on record and say that. I know he's, you know, what you see when he goes in the trenches and he goes to war, that's one side of him. But he's, he's, he's a smart individual, a smart boxing man. And, um, you know, he's ready. And, and this, is, this is the fight. This is a big day for both of our families. So I'm very proud to be associated with this. And... Um, I'd love to probably be a fan on the outside watching this go down over the next few months because it's going to be hard work. But uh, to actually see this fight unfold is, is, going to, is going to be a dream for all fight fans. Thank you. Thank you, Mick. Let's open it up to the floor. Which Adam are you talking to? Um, 
Hennessy. Haymaker and Hennessy. Are Mick Hennessy and Adam Booth for Haymaker Boxing and Hennessy Sports? Hands down. We're not, we're not promoting it. TV. Yeah, we're the broadcaster. Mick and me. And the fight's on Sky Sports box office. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. You know, it's nice that um, you know, Tyson's actually from the area, you know, up that way in Manchester, so um, you know, his fans don't have too far to travel. Um, and it's interesting what um, Mick was saying about um, Tyson going into the trenches, which is quite true. You know, he's dug deep on occasion, but um, it's hard to go into the trenches when you've been taken out by a sniper, um, which is exactly what's going to happen. It's a true um, comment. I can't argue with that. I'm the dog, David's the cat. What you see with a dog is what you get. I'm going to train hard, come <coughs> for a fight, and I'm not hard to it. I'll stand in front of you. And I land bombs if they land them. You know, it's whoever it's first. David's a sniper fighter. He uses the ring, tries to make you make a mistake so he can count you with hard, fast, accurate shots, like he said. So I can't, I can't argue with that. But what I can say is I have 100% heart and determination that can, can back up anything that I say. So whatever he brings to the table, my heart and determination can overcome. And as we all know, it's a massive part in boxing heart and determination and will to win. Never say die and never disbelieve in yourself for a second. Yeah, many big nights I've had over the years. Um, this is, uh, I wouldn't say it's bigger than them, this is another big night. Uh, most, most of my fights are big fights. And um, I love the whole rigmarole that goes along with that. I love all the hype, the, press coverage, the excitement that it brings. And this, that's, that's what attracted me to this fight. It was the excitement that, um, that the boxing fans um, were projected on me. They really genuinely wanted to see this lad get spanked. And um, I, had to, I had to give everybody what they wanted. So there we go. Can I just say to the public and to anyone who wants to listen that <clears throat> Oops, I forgot what I was going to say. Not really. Of course you did. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> that, you know, people might want to see Tyson Fury get knocked out for whatever reasons they have, because I might be the brash talker and I might say a lot and I might do whatever, but, you know, so far I've backed it up so far so good. And if David can beat me, then, like Peter said, congratulations to him. It put me out of my misery. Then there's no hard feelings at all. Listen, if I get beat by a better man on the night, there's, there's nothing. What can I do? I can only train hard, eat right, sleep right give it everything I've got, and if he beats me, he beats me. That's it. I can't do any more than God's given me to do. I can only do, a man can only do what a man can only do, but I believe what I can only do, it will be good enough to beat, not only beat David A, but to beat the Klitschko's as well. Whichever one, the, the pensioner or the robot. Tyson, why, why do you go that direction? Tyson, why do you go To be honest with you, I was number two by the IBF and I was in line to fight Kabrat Pulev for the mandatory slot to fight Vlad. But you know, nobody knows Pulev. Outside of Bulgaria, he's, no one's interested in him. It's not a big fight in the UK, it's not a big fight in Germany, and there's a, it's not a big fight in Bulgaria. So, you know, I don't want to be fighting no names. We're not here to take punches in the face and uh, for nothing, you know. This is a big fight, big opportunity. David A is a good fighter, people like him. He's got a big reputation, so once you like um, take David A out, then all his reputation becomes mine, and my ego becomes even bigger. <laughs> <laughs> is, is there a fight you'd rather see than this one, Rick? I, not, no? I personally think that there's not a fight out there now in world boxing that will like, draw more attention, that will be a better fight and people want to see it than David A and Tyson Fury. I'm saying David A first uh, because, you know, he's a champion and he, he has to be built first, you know, as you can see on the poster and that. So that's what I want to get across. I'm the, the chump here, like he says, but I won't be a chump after I've knocked him out. But, you know, there's not a bigger fight than this in world boxing. At any weight, Mayweather's, Pacquiao's, any weight, 
I can't think of any other fight that people would want to see rather than Tyson Fury and David A. Yeah, I think yeah, I think this fight definitely is, is great for British boxing. Any time boxing's in the newspapers, any time it gets big coverage, you know, it gives a, a shot of adrenaline to boxing. You know, as, you know, over the last few years, boxing hasn't had that many that you know month by month, or it hasn't had the coverage that um, one would like. You know, I'd love to have boxing on the back page every day, but there aren't the fights that there aren't the fights out there to generate that. But this, this particular fight, you know, even though the, my last fight against Jazora, even though it was uh, sort of covered in controversy, the way the fight came about, even after the fight, people said, okay, it was a good fight. You know, two guys, both in shape, came to win, big, massive football stadium, great event, great, great night, and it got nothing but praise afterwards. And I think that, that helped. And I think this fight now, with a uh, young defeated you know, Tyson Fury, um, I think it'll be, um, you'll do the, the same thing. You know, it'll really, really capture the public's imagination. And, you know, once um, he's uh, dispatched of, then people will be very, very happy. It's a question for uh, Tyson Anthony. As Theo has said, he's, he's been here a number of times for his big fights. He's been on here for you and a lot of media attention. This is really your first time. You've seen him get carried away in fights before. Do you think he could get carried away in the build up to this? 100%. There's no doubt that I can get carried away in a heartbeat. You know, I always get carried away, whether I'm playing football, playing a computer game, you know, it's all or nothing every single time. My emotions rule my body sometimes, you know, and that can be a downfall in people, especially in big fights. But, you know, I, ca I can't be faulted for giving everything and wanting to win so badly that it means the world to me, rather than it just a boxing match. It ain't just a boxing match to me, it's me life, me livelihood, it's everything to me. It's me honour, it's, it's everything, everything's on the line. Every time I step in the ring, everything is on the line, so if it gets emotional for me in there, it's because it means a lot and I want to win that bad, it means more to me than anything in the world to win on the night. And there's no amount of money, there's no amount of fame can, they could offer me for me to lose on that night, nothing. Winning for me is everything, and that's what I do, I'm a winner. Oh, you know, we're going to get Tyson in the best condition. Uh, we're going to give him the best tools he can have for this fight to get in, prepare 12 weeks, like uh, David said. And, uh, and that's it, you know. Look, you can uh, do, the, do all you like with a fighter. When the bell goes, it's up to the two of them. You know, when uh, Tyson listens, he listens. If he doesn't, he doesn't. But, uh, you know. And I look at all the worst sides of what's going to happen and uh, Tyson's going to go out there and I'll say he's trying to blast David out. And we'll train Tyson for that. It depends uh, exactly what's going to happen. But there's one thing for sure on the night it's going to be a spectacular fight and it's not going to be as easy as people think it is. Nick, uh, this, is a, this, is, this, is, this is a big thing for you as a fighter. Yeah, I mean, listen. This is this is this is personal. This this really is. This is we, you know, this side of the table. We've been on a hell of a journey together. So uh, after the fight with Cunningham at Madison Square Garden, you know, was it was a was a dangerous fight to take. Cunningham was in by far the best shape of his life, and people seem to overlook that. Uh, a real dangerous contender. I mean, let's not forget he's he's the only fighter to stop Marco Hook, as well. You know, Tyson just said the Kubrat Pulev fight. You know, he's a tough fighter, a good fighter, but it doesn't mean anything. It really, really doesn't mean anything. This means everything. This is, you know, Peter touched on it earlier. This is going to do for British boxing what no other fight can do. This is we've got the best heavyweight fight in world boxing in this country, by far. Best heavyweight fight inside the ring and outside the ring. So. You know, that's, that's why we chose the fight. I, I believe in Tyson. I believe he can beat, if he gets it right, if he's smart and he listens to Peter, he can beat any heavyweight in the world and he can beat him in style. We haven't took this fight. This isn't, this isn't about the money. This is, Tyson's wanted this fight since the, the very first time I met him. He, he, he mentioned David A and, he, and, he's, and he's talked about him all throughout because of an encounter they had after he won the ABAs years ago. 
And that's, that's been in the back of his mind. He's always wanted to fight David Hay, but the time had to be right. And the business side of it had to be right. And it couldn't be more right than it is now. So, you know, it's the right move. We, we, we know it is. Every fight's a risk. Every every fight you really, every single boxer out there, the next fight's a risk that they they risk undoing the good work that they've done. This is like no other. Why well, is a fight that the fans want? If you don't risk it, everyone would just retire now and nobody would move forward and boxing would cease to exist. So um, you know, you don't, when, you, when you, you, you pick a fight, you don't pick a fight and wonder, oh, if I lose this fight, then uh, you know my reputation. You, know, you just crack on with it. No, it's a, it's a, I particularly, I particularly try to fight the biggest names possible and the fights that the fans genuinely want to see. I've done that since I was a cruiserweight, you know, and uh, it's worked out fine for me. You know, I've lost, I lost a fight here and there, but you know, I've, I've always come back and here I am today in this next uh, big fight. And um, after this fight, I'm sure Tyson will be able to pick up the pieces and, 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 and come back. Um, not at this level, but he'll come back to some, go back to where he currently is at the moment. Where's that? Nowhere. Nowhere? I'm in front of you in the WBC rankings, you mug. So you must be even nowhere then, are you? <laughs> nowhere. Nowhere. You'll be, you'll see where nowhere is on the fight night. Listen, why don't you think about things before you say them, sir? Mm. If you're intelligent yeah. enough to pot, say pot, something, pot in, pot why again. don't you think about what you are saying? Before you say it, before you make yourself look stupid. Me look stupid, yeah? Yes, with that hairstyle. Look at the state of it. <laughs> you look like a Cambridge boy yeah. in that suit you're wearing. Very nice, sir, if Thank I must say. Much. Thank you very much. <laughs> very nice. Any more, guys? Was that it? There must be some more questions. Come on, people. Fire them up. One more there. Say that again, sir, I didn't hear it. Yeah. No, I'm a one-trick pony. I come to fight, and that's what I do. If I get knocked down, so be it. I get back up and I win. That's all that matters. Like I said, if David A can land on me first, I'm a goner, for sure. Because as we can see, Tyson Fury can't take a punch off cruiserweights or anybody else. So, but if I land on Hay, it's good night Vienna as well. Because, listen, he, um, he can be put down, as we saw in a few of his fights. There's, anyone can be put down. The greatest ever of all time, Muhammad Ali, even got floored. But it's not what we do when we're on the floor, it's what we do to climb back off it. Champions are made from what's inside of them. OK, thanks very much, guys. There'll be some one-to-ones after. Uh, some photos at the front first.